Firstly, I, I don't think we should panic. At the same time, I don't think we should ignore the issue and just carry on as we are. So I would say that firstly, um, at the end of the day, we're believers, right? We're believers, we trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and part of our reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our reliance on things taught to us by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for our protection. When we make du'as of protection, either because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that if you recite La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadeer once, ten times, a hundred times, then you will be in the in in, a, in protection from the shaitan. If you read Bismillah tawakkaltu ala Allah wa hulu wa la quwwata illa billah, when you leave home, then you will be uh, that you will be protected and it will suffice you. And all of these things that we do, right? You know, ikhlas falaq nas after every salah, three times during the day, three times in the evening before we go to bed. These are all things that are ayatul kursi after every salah. These are all things that we do for protection. That's part of our tawakkul. I think we need to remember this. Again, don't just go through the motions. That is part of our tawakkul. Otherwise, what does it mean? What does it really do? Right? Do the police come to you any faster? Because you read these ad'iyah, that's not the point. This is all part of our reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is two things. It isn't that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to protect us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us, absolutely. But it's also that, that at the end of the day, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed will happen. Trusting in Allah is trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree. And therefore, مَا أَصَابَكَ لَمْ يُكُنْ لِيُخْطِئَكَ وَمَا أَخْطَأَكَ لَمْ يُكُنْ لِيُصِيبَكَ If something does happen to us, it was never going to miss us. And if something, and, 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 and if, if, and, uh, uh, and, and if something hasn't happened to us, it was never going to befall us. It befell someone else, but it was not, never going to befall us. And this is how we keep our sanity. But, but we are taught to be, to, to prepare, to take precaution, right? As, just as part of the way, uh, the way our du'as are part of us taking precaution. Because if it will, if whatever is destined to happen is going to happen anyway, why do we bother with the ad'iyah? Right? Well, we, we, we read the ad'iyah because we are told to. Because this is what Allah and His Messenger taught us to do for our protection. How that protection manifests, do angels keep difficulties away from us and, and, and keep and like a car misses us by a second? Is it because an angel intervened or so on and so forth? We can never know. But we do these things because that is what we are supposed to do. That's what we are taught to do. Just like dua is because of that, so is tying your camel, so is keeping your windows closed when there's a rise in acid attacks, maybe not, not opening your windows when you're like st stopped at traffic lights and so on and so forth. Just being just a, a bit more you know, vigilant. If, if, you're, if you live in a high burglary area, you know, you tend to be a bit more careful about closing your windows and if you're on the ground floor and, and shutting your doors. It's, it's fairly logical. So I think we, we mustn't panic. We retain our tawakkul in Allah. We do all. We continue to do the things that we don't do for our protect, that, we, that, that we're meant to do for our protection. We don't miss, miss those things and we make sure that we take uh, precaution.